childhood wasn't that great, but I learned to give. After my parents were in a car accident, my dad died and my mother went into depression. She hardly ever spoke to me, and I just had to get over it. We were living in a two-room house and didn't have much money, but once again, I just had to get over it. I escaped the world in my dreams. That was the only way I could ever live. I mean, it's like my mother just wouldn't listen to me at all. I rarely talked to her, but she wouldn't even listen to me. I felt so alone in our two-room house, and it, nothing could change it. But everything changed when she asked me if I wanted to go to my aunt Emily's. I loved my aunt Emily, and she was the best person to be around with. I loved her so much. I was so excited. I shot up right from the bed as soon as she told me. We hugged into a tight embrace, and I never had felt this way before. I had never felt like somebody else loved me so long. Aunt Emmeline told me my mother was getting surgery. I understood it made sense. After all, she probably needed me. Aunt Emmeline left the room so I could get settled in. I began unpacking my little suitcase. My toy top rolled onto the floor, and I went to pick it up, and the deed was done.